We are on the Morvans, Kettle Sings, and there's quite an expectant crowd, socially distanced, of course. Um, I'm with Tom here, and we've got a little vol biff plan. I'm going to try and fly to, fly to Pandy or Hay Bluff or somewhere like that. But yeah, maybe Taliban, and um, camp there for the night, and then press carry on westwards tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's see. And Tom's off as well. Well done, Tom. Okay, Tom, can you hear me? Yeah, just saying, keep an eye on these other gliders, they're going up. Tom, there's a climb over here. I know you're a long way away, but think, have a think about it. So Tom has landed down there along with uh, three or four others. Just got unlucky in that cycle. No decent climbs yet. So I just mooch around, see what happens. Go on Tim, show us how it's done. Might well be camping here after all. Ding ding round two. That's a lovely sight. It's not looking very inspiring to go over the back at the moment. But this is fun. Up at 3,000 feet now, almost. Some quite nice climbs once you get up high. Just waiting for Tom to get up. Watch your buddy! I could have gone through that like uh, it's like a time warp machine there. Nice, peaceful walk in the Malvern Hills. I would have walked up a foot bath, but this way is just a little bit quicker. And I'm gonna meet Tom for a pint in the pub, and then we're gonna go and find somewhere to camp. Right, happy days. Look at this clobber. It's like a bunch of gypsies have pitched up. Well, we are a bunch of gypsies, <laughs> aren't we? Sky nomads. Yeah, damn right. We have got a pretty nice spot here facing due west. The lovely west ridge, I'm sure it'll be working right now. <laughs> and that's looking towards where we've been flying up and down this ridge. And there's still a couple of gliders in the air. But yeah, time to pitch the tent and maybe cook some grub. Let's go and inspect Tom's humble abode. <laughs> Very not, low humble not, abode. Not quite sure where he's going to sleep, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be very comfortable. Mm. And here's mine. Looks pretty nice. Right, it's almost whiskey time. And tonight's deliciousness is adventure food satay babi. Very tasty. And coffee about music. <laughs> and Mr. Tom. <laughs> Not quite eat, cooking it the way it was intended, but I'm sure it's delicious. 
The sun is just going down and then it's going to get cold. Ah, so it was a pretty chilly night. There's uh, little bits of frost on the tent. Um, Tom's just gone off to park his car for a couple of days. Oh yeah, you can see plenty of frost on his little tent. Um, it didn't form on mine. Uh, yeah, tent was great, apart from the fact the central pole sort of slipped down at one point because I didn't have it vertical enough and uh, I woke up to find the whole tent sort of flapping on top of me. Um, and yes, it was pretty cold. I had to put my gloves on my feet because my socks uh, weren't keeping my feet warm enough. Uh, and I kept slipping off the mattress because it's an ever so slight slope. But yeah, apart from that, great. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go for a, well, in fact, you can come with me for a quick walk. I need to get in the sunshine. Woohoo! <laughs> right, let's go and put the kettle on. Oh, well, here we are. No trace of us ever having been here. First cumulus are out there. I guess it's quite early for them. Um, but hopefully it won't overdevelopment, overdevelop like yesterday. Well, ding ding round two. Here we are, the kettle sings again. It's a gorgeous looking sky today. And there's a ton of people here. So fingers crossed for a better day. ahead of us 2700 got a glider in front of me which is nice he seems to be climbing a bit right now that's good Tom is just behind down to 1600 feet not a sniff he's going up looks like it thousand feet. Tom's doing well. That, that last climb just fizzled out. feet hopefully next time I put the camera on I'll be up at four grand and four thousand feet foot in front
Just over the edge of Hereford. Felt a bit of lift. Come on. I'm at 2 2. 2.1. Seagulls coming to join me. It's about two and a half thousand feet. I was on my own for a bit, but I bumped into two more compadres. So I'm at uh, three nine, just past Hereford there. No obvious clouds to go for. But can't go that way because of the danger area. There are some gliders about four or five k away on that ridge line, so I'm going to head over there, over this big black thing in front. That's well, down to just below 2,000, but. These seem to be working quite nicely. And that's uh, two up. That's where we've come from, that's Hereford and the Malvins in the distance. And that's the way I'm heading over the Black Mountains. That's Joe and Lawrence, Laurie, I believe. Three seven. Time is at two thousand feet, about five k away. That direction, heading for Abergavenny. So he's doing well. We sort of parted company um, because I was taking a more northern line. But the sky looks great over the Black Mountains. So getting close to the Black Mountains, had to just kickstart the GoPro again. Bloody annoying. This is a bit of a repeat of last time I attempted this flight. Ended up on the cat's back. Let's hope we can get a climb out of it. Meanwhile, Joe's got a bit of a climb over there. Tom just texted, said he's landed at 45k, so that's great for him. Really well done. Right, I'm up at 3.3, but it feels low. Joey's up there, and Laurie is just behind me. So, we finally found a nice climb. That's peaking at 4.9. That's what it should be like here. Smooth, strong. Four thousand six hundred. Just slow down a little bit. And that's the way we're going down there towards the Brecon Beacons. Up at four six. Black Mountains looking fantastic. Yay, 5,800. Bit slow getting up here, but puts us in good stead. Reckon 
beacons ahead. video so approaching Brecker now nice line of clouds out that way uh, that's the way I want to go So 5,100, been up to 6,000. I've flown almost 70 kilometers so far. It's pretty slow though, it's taken about three hours. Well, there was a weak climb back there, but gotta be something over this lot. Just sort of skirting with the edge of Senny Bridge. I want to get this line of clouds, but I don't know if I can or not. Otherwise, there's a big blue hole to cross. Maybe I should have gone that way. I'm up at 6,000 feet. If I keep on this course, we'll miss Senny Bridge. Basically, that stuff over there, to the southwest corner of it. There's something around here. We can't go to the obvious source because that's inside the, the danger area. pretty desperate. I was hoping something for something off that plateau. Anyway, concentrate, you never know. like to land this sheep but
Well, this is pretty much where I landed. Just that field there. I spotted those rather nasty power lines uh, a few seconds before, sufficiently before. Um, I'd seen, I'd seen that. I'd seen those ones in that field, but I hadn't spotted these ones until relatively close. So uh, yeah, full of wires around here. Anyway, I'm gonna, there's a road up there. So I'm gonna just go through here, up the road, and then make my way to Flandovery, where Lisa's gonna meet me. That's the plan at least. Right, onwards. This is beautiful. Let's just hope I can get across this fence. Designed to keep the sheep out. Oh, <laughs> that's not really going to keep them out. Well, I reckon that's. Ah, okay, there's an even bigger gap over here. Uh, I think I'll go across there. I've got a bit of sheep shit on my hand, so I'm just going to wash it off. Really want to get wet feet. Maybe up here. Oh, look at this. Absolutely perfect. And, ooh, it's a bit boggy. All right. You got. A bit of barbed wire here. Get me leg over. Oh, God. Couldn't help holding the camera. Right. Let's put the camera away. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, and I've just got a uh, two or three mile walk to Flandovery. But look at the sky now. It's beautiful. I think we came the wrong route. We should have stuck to the high ground, fan here, fan four. And we could have probably been under this line of clouds here. Oh well, next time. <laughs> what a day. What a sky to... Well, I wouldn't call it bomb out after 100k, but what a sky to land under. There's a lot more cumulus around where I've come from, that way, um, than there were. But, uh, c'est la vie, I guess Lisa is about half an hour away now, so that's cool, 
we might even find a pint and uh, yeah find somewhere to stay around here probably it's pretty lovely and look who I found the trusty retrieved driver and her faithful hound hello, hello Monty <laughs> And so my little one day Volbiv adventure comes to an end at this rather nice spot here. I'm not sure what it, can't remember what it's called, but it's a head of, I think it's the head of the Tawi River, Tawi Reservoir, maybe. But it's a, yeah, it's a great spot. Probably the last bit of the sunset. And we've even got loose. How about that? <laughs> What do you think of it, Monty? Hello? <laughs> nah. Cheers!